Hello, this is Deval Wolf from Mystical Drumming, mysticaldrumming.com. We're going to be bringing you a series of videos on this YouTube channel. Uh, please hit the like button somewhere down here. And please join our channel. This is a link here to our webpage, mysticaldrumming.com. We have a free newsletter. Uh, the free newsletter will send you a lot of really cool, informative, free stuff. And uh, visit here often, so uh, the newsletter will let you know when there are things out, new things. Uh, we have a video series currently out. It's called Mystical Drumming. It's incorporation of the mystical infinity of the mind with the martial arts combined with drums. So you have three pieces. So the mind, the mind is infinite. The mind has limitless potential. So as drummers, we're doing something quite physical. We're doing something actually probably more physical than any other instrument, probably. To my knowledge, I believe it is the most physical instrument. So we want to tap into our minds. We're doing not just something that's very physical, we're doing something that has uh, a lot of nuances to it a lot of uh, dynamics to it, hopefully. We want to be playing the drums. We want to make drums an instrument, not just something we bang upon. There's a lot of guys out there who are banging on drums, not playing drums. They mean well, they're good people. Uh, hopefully, uh, they will um, metamorphosize into more of a uh, musician playing drums as opposed to a guy or a girl. There's some females playing now, right? Who are just banging on drums. Drums are not to be banged on, you know, it's kind of like, you know, this wah, 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 okay? It's a dynamic instrument that has an, in, this, an infinite amount of potential. So, we tap into our mind. I like something called NLP, Neuro Linguistic Programming. It's, it's an acronym, NLP. So I use NLP, it's a lot easier to say in here. Neuro Linguistic Programming. It's a mouthful, say the least. So NLP. NLP I like because it's been proven to work. I don't particularly care for things that are theoretical. Uh, NLP has basis in fact that has been uh, working for many people, millions actually, and successfully. Uh, the two founders of it uh, actually studied psychology, uh, these fields of psychology. They interviewed a lot of psychologists and they came upon what they felt to be were uh, systems of psychology and hypnotism that we're working. So NLP is a way that we can increase our physical ability by using the infinite potential of our mind. And it's very cool, right? So as well, we can use the infinite potential of martial arts. Um, in my healing process, I started with Tai Chi, went to Qigong, and then I started exploring many other areas of martial arts and have been doing so for a long time now. Um, I am uh, something of a mixed martial artist, I guess. I know uh, when I first started it wasn't really have, uh, in place, so uh, to me it's uh, kind of amusing that we have this thing called MMA or mixed martial arts. To me it was natural to learn uh, ground, game, and standing up, as because uh, to really be a fighter, uh, if somebody took you down, you would have to know what you're doing on the ground as much, um, of course, you know, if something happened in the street or something, God forbid, uh, you'd have to know what you're doing standing up. So there was two ways of, you know, happening or things that things could unfold. Anyway, I digress. So uh, there's a lot of wisdom that goes back to thousands of years in the martial arts about how we move our bodies. So I really like that and it um, has helped me to teach myself and my students uh, and hopefully you, how to move our bodies in a more efficient way. Uh, because there's a lot of movement going on here. And it can be done in a, in a more, not just more efficient way, was we could be more or less, it could be done with uh, less energy expenditure, uh, with, which all kind of adds up to more dynamics and more speed, which is what we're looking to do, right? Particularly dynamic speed. You know, if you look at some of the most successful drummers in history, such as Ringo Starr and uh, Charlie Watts and people like that, uh, there is definitely debate about how good they were, and I'm not going to get into that. I'm just going to say that they were, um, particularly Ringo, um, 
he played in the most influential, successful, successful Dan in history. Um, and a thousand years from now, I don't have a, a time capsule to open up a thousand years from now, so I can't tra uh, travel through time. So I don't know for sure that uh, what my sta the statement I'm about to say is true or not. I can only say that probably a thousand years from now, probably, the Beatles will be the only thing to remember from this era, uh, along with the era prior to us, Mozart, Beethoven, etc. I assume that they will be spoken of, you know, uh, Lennon McCartney will have spoken of in the same sentence as Beethoven and Mozart and people like that. So, uh, Ringo played with uh, modern day Beethoven and Mozart's, so um, I think that he did pretty, pretty well. Okay. So, uh, we want to look at the drums from a whole new perspective with mystical drumming that we can incorporate the mind and tap into that. So, how do we start doing that? Well, there's three simple ways we can visualize. Because as we visualize, we create an image for our mind to have sort of a paradigm, an archetype, for the body to follow. When the body has an archetype to follow, it generally does. As a man thinketh, so is he. It's ancient wisdom. Um, so visualizing. When we are playing, we want to see what we're doing. So we want to stop as we're practicing. Uh, if you follow the link and you go to mysticaldrumming.com and you get the drum series that we offer, uh, you will see that uh, there's a lot of uh, techniques like this and techniques incorporated onto the drums, which are radical. This, they're quite different in approach to basic rudiments and things like that uh, to offer you an ability to escalate exponentially radically fast also uh, and radically I mean at a radical, radical pace to to embetterment of better being a better drummer uh, playing with faster speed and uh, more dynamics and such so the drums uh, when visualized so if you are playing something and you're, let's say, stuck or you're hitting a ceiling, stop and see what you're doing. Um, there's another way we process information. There's only three ways. We either visualize, we either see, we're, so we either are uh, visual, which would be visualizing, we're auditory, we hear, or we're kinesthetic, we feel. So if you're more of an auditory person, you would hear what you what you wanted to do. So if you're playing a pattern, a fill, a groove, a combination thereof, whatever, you could hear it. And if you were to do that, a part of your brain would help another part of the brain to form synaptic loops. There are synapses in the brain, clusters, therefore they form clusters. And that's what we mean when we say mind muscle. That's the mind part of it. The brain is forming uh, circuitry. Your memories, all your memories. Right now, think of a green apple. So you see a green apple, right? Where is a green apple? It's not really a green apple. It's a picture of a green apple, right? Okay, right. So where is it? It's a cluster of synapses that are creating a picture. Remember your mother. Remember your father, right? So there's mom and dad. Where is mom and dad? Maybe not right in front of you right now, right? Maybe they're living or not. And uh, But either way, they're probably not in front of you right now. And you see them though, right? So, um, we're kinesthetic sometimes. All of us, by the way, are all three visual and auditory and kinesthetic. It's just that uh, using sticks as teaching tools, we usually predominate in one of them. So, usually uh, as musicians, we're normally more auditory than visual than kinesthetic. Could you be more kinesthetic? Yes. Or more uh, visual? Yes. So there's three, you only have two specs, okay, but you know, imagine three. So you can also feel, and music is a feeling, isn't it? It's, it's, a, it's a groove. Uh, your, our job is really two things, right? To create time for a pocket and a groove for a pocket. So ideally, a drummer is a pocket maker along with the bass player. If you can't keep, keep time, 
and have a groove to that time, you're not drumming. You're just making noise. No offense. Okay? I should say one, so we don't make it personal to you. If one is just making noise, you know, whatever, and there's no time to that, and there's no groove to that, then it means nothing. Okay? So that's why we count in drums and music in general, but we are really the counters, the metronome of the music in fours and threes, right? So it's one, two, three, four, or one, two, three, four, five, six. Basically, it's fours and threes that are doubled. Four, eight, sixteen, thirty-two, sixty-four, etc. One twenty-eight, and then we have three, six, twelve, twenty-four, etc. And three. Okay. So fours and threes. Okay, mysticaldrumming.com simplifies that for us so that we see we see, visualize, we can see kind of like a playing field. You ever play baseball or football or something like that? And when you saw the field, sometimes you'd see it better, better than others. And when you saw it really well, you were playing it really well. It's kind of like if you were playing football, you just saw, you know, where to go. Or you're playing baseball, you just, the baseball is like, you know, look back at basketball or something. Uh, even foosball or something, you know, like you're playing foosball and, you know, just for some reason you just saw exactly where to shoot the thing, you know, it just, you just knew exactly what you were doing with shooting darts, you just knew, boom, I just could do it. Um, I think Yogi, Yogi Barra summed it up something along the lines of, uh, you can't think and hit at the same time. Uh, I think it's when we're not thinking that we basically do our best, okay? So, okay, so coming back to that, we can feel what we want to be doing, which will again incorporate the brain teaching the synaptic routes how to build more uh, kind of like concreteness, more solidity, and we can play better. Okay, so remember that visualize, feel, or hear what you want to do, particularly if you get stuck, it will greatly enhance your drumming ability. And um, for more information, again, please go to our website, mysticaldrumming.com, and join our newsletter there, and please join here, uh, subscribe, and start watching these videos. And as we do, we'll start unfolding this mysterious mystical drumming process, which we hope uh, helps you not just become a better drummer, but a better person as well, and it can. This is about improving your mind, and as you gain more confidence in your mind and learn some tools to um, improve yourself as a drummer. You can use the same tools in your life, which is really cool. Okay, so, you know, uh, well, I can't say that thumb, thumbs up, okay. Uh, yeah, so improve ourselves as drummers and uh, also in our lives and we'll get better. Okay, yeah, life is short, make the most of it. Yeah, so, okay, we'll see you next video.